Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a prophetic word for you. And this prophetic word will raise up your spirit, your body, your soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For everybody who is but family of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the Lord rewards your consistency. Thank you so much for standing with me. Thank you so much for not giving up on me. Thank you. May God reward and may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you're not yet a family, I beg you, I beg on you in the name of Jesus, please kindly subscribe and become an amazing part of this family. I would love to be your friend. I would love to be close to you. I want to be your prayer partner. I want to pray with you and I want to pray for you. If you have a prayer point, you have a prayer request that you want somebody to pray with you about, please kindly go to my about and get my email and send me that prayer request. I will definitely intercede for you. Some of them I respond and some of them I do not respond. Hallelujah. If I had to respond to every prayer request, then I don't even know, like every email, sorry, but I pray for people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This prophetic word is a very great prophetic word. God says you will wake up tomorrow to this. Now, this is specific. You will wake up tomorrow to these particular happenings. This is very um, specific. And this will is going to shock you because... I'm talking right now, and you really want to know what you're going to wake up to. But it's always good to be patient. Now, you don't want to just hear what you're going to wake up to, but you want to know what is going to happen before you're going to wake up to, or what has happened before you are going to wake up to this. So I always say that patience is virtue. That's it. Patience is virtue. Sometimes when you're patient enough to say, okay, I want to listen to this. Okay, let me understand what is going on right now. Okay, what's she trying to say? Rather than just whoop, I want to know the things. You're just being curious without a solution. We all are here by the special grace of God, not just necessarily because we want to hear, but because we want solutions, because we want to know and get clarity and get directions. You will wake up tomorrow to this. And it's going to be so shocking to you because you never expected, you least expected. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, the Bible says, For I know the plans that I have for you, the plans of good and not of evil, to bring you to an expected end. No matter what we have been through, no matter what we are going through, no matter what is happening in our lives, the plans of God for us is always amazing. The plans of God for us is always different. The plans of God for us is always elevating, uplifting. No matter what the Bible says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Sometimes if we can just be patient to see what God has for us towards the end, everything is going to be okay. You know, one thing that affects us as people who are waiting on God as believers is our impatience. And sometimes the impatience is because you're seeing another person manifesting. You're seeing another person being blessed. You're seeing another person in riches. You're seeing another person in wealth. You're seeing another person living a great life. And because of that, it makes you feel like you've been relegated at the back. It makes you feel like you've been left behind. That is what happens to so many people. The Lord says, you're watching me right now. God says, you've been in so much distress lately. 
You've been so worried lately. You've been so worried about your life. You've been thinking about a lot of things about your life. You've been asking so many questions about your life. When is this going to happen to me? When am I going to see this? When am I going to see that? You're about to wake up to a brighter side of your life tomorrow. What is going to happen is you're about to have a very heavy encounter tomorrow. And tomorrow marks the beginning of a new dawn in your life. You've been through so much suffering lately so much stress lately. God says tomorrow it was going to mark the beginning of a new dawn in your life. You're going to have a prominent encounter tomorrow. You will have a divine visitation you did not ask for, you did not bargain for. You will have an amazing and a very heavy divine visitation. This is going to shock you. Joseph never knew he was going to wake up to become the prime minister tomorrow. He never knew. He never knew. He never knew he was going to wake up to become the prime minister tomorrow. David never knew he was going to wake up to become the king tomorrow. He was just in the bush taking care of the flocks and then they sent for him. All of these people whom God has blessed, they've been through problems. They've been through attacks. They've been through worriness in one way or the other. And they woke up to having a better news the next day. I pray for you. You will wake up to a better news. If you're watched it up to this uh, extent, please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession over your life. Say, I am waking up to a better news tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I am waking up to a better person tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I am waking up to success tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I am waking up to promotion, elevation, good news, happiness, joy. Begin to to mention what you want to wake up tomorrow to because it marks the beginning of a new dawn in your life in the mighty name of Jesus amen hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah praise God marks the beginning of a new dawn in your life tomorrow we'll wake up to this in Jesus name amen Please, if this has been a great blessing to you, I beg you, please kindly pray for me as the Spirit leads you to pray for me. And please, I beg you, do not forget to share the video. Always make it a habit to share the video. It's always amazing where a word blesses you that you share. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you so much, honey. I do. I love you so much. I'll see you all in our next prayer station and prophetic word. God bless you powerfully. Shalom.